Hi ladies, it's Karen. I'm here today to share my project, my first project for December for Angel Dream Crafts Kim. And you will find in the description box links to her Etsy store where you can purchase some of these beautiful laces and trims, blings and other beautiful supplies for your crafting. She's adding new things to the shop all the time, so you have to check back. And although some of the supplies I show today she may not have, she certainly has other things that are equally as beautiful. You also find links below to the designers who are currently designing for her and making beautiful projects to inspire you. What I decided to make is some Christmas decorations. These are not small decorations, they're quite large, and so they could be used as little mini wall hangings or on your tree or as a door hanger. Uh, and I just wanted to really showcase these beautiful trims and laces that Kim has in her store. So I will individually pick each one up and just show you some of the details of them. This one is uh, constructed on a wire ring that I have wrapped with uh, a cream colored ribbon. And then I have used the rose dangle lace uh, across the side here and then uh, a piece of the dangle dangling down the side here and uh, this part of the dangle came across this way so this is a little added on piece that I cut off and added going this way and then the bottom of this is it's almost sort of has a dream catcher kind of feel to it and I really feel this one you could even hang up all year long um, in a spot if a, you know just somewhere special with the angel on it it's just really pretty to look at so I used a piece of a doily in the back for as part of the dangle and then I took one of the rose dangle pieces and dangled that down this is also another trim that she had in the store this one here with all these little individual dangles on it and I've been cutting those off and using them individually I've placed them within the the dangle and then I added uh, a light blue gray uh, flat back pearl and some cream colored pearls and some rhinestones flat back rhinestones onto here so and then I created an angel and this one I used the I did the same type of angel in the book I made last month and I know I have the tiniest little piece left of this trim and this is the trim I used and what I do is I just cut off one of these pieces like this so you get three little dangles and the little V shape at the top and then what I do with that is I made that use the V as part of her body and I added on some bling pieces and then I just add a little spacer a little pearl like bead and a rondelle on the top and that creates this is her you know her body and her head and then the dangles create sort of kind of like I would say the bottom of her dress and I added in some feathers on this one and I used part of a, the butter the tops of the butterfly wings of an applique for her wings and I added bling of course and pearls onto that as well so it's very blingy it's very sparkly but I also think it's very pretty and it really shows the beautiful how beautiful that trim can look uh, last month I used it um, as the bottom of my fabric book and this month using it you know tipped kind of on its side attached to a ring you could also use for a smaller one you could use a shower curtain ring you could use part of an embroidery hoop anything like that would work for your circle to be able to create this type of little wall hanging or Christmas ornament. This one here is uh, created on the same on the ring. This one I did not cover the ring because it's buried in there in amongst all the uh, laces and trims. The back of this one I used one of the doilies from her doily pack and then I used the pleated 
trim that I showed in my design team package for December, which is satin with lace overlay, and it's a pleated trim. I used attached that on the on all the way around onto the doily, so it just attaches where the points are on this doily, and any little other little strands that were showing on the doily, I trimmed those off. This trim is really beautiful because you don't need to do any other gathering with it. You can just place it around on that doily like that and you get this beautiful pleated outer edge on here. And it's so it's really pretty. And then I put again the rose dangle trim, which I should show you a piece of that in case you forget what that one looks like. And I'm pretty sure this one is still in the store. And this is it here. So it has these beautiful big roses at the top and then it has rosebuds and uh, little flowers dangling down on it. And so it's lovely as a dangle trim, but it also is very pretty to cut up. So here's three of the big roses at the top, again, around the edge, framing out the image. And then one of the trailing pieces I have trailing down the side here. Uh, and then I used actually the top of one of the trims like this the top of this one I like to cut these this little piece off and use the little loopy parts to outline images so I did that and then I added a pearl in each of the little loops as well and then I used the rest of this trim which is has in the store it's such a pretty trim and of course these little holes here in in the lovely dangle just beckon to be filled with uh, a bling or a pearl. So there's that trim along the bottom of this one and it's very pretty. It has lots of really pretty movement to it. And I have put a bling and a flat back pearl in each one of those. And this is a small, little, quite a tiny little hole in, in this trim. It's a delicate dangle. There are times when I don't always have the right size of flat back to use. But I had some cup chain, and I know Kim sells the cup chain in the store. And I have, I cut, this is a piece. And of course it's sitting in its little casing. And I just take the stone out of that casing. Because when you glue this down on a project, I don't particularly like the look of the metal when it's, if, if you're going to do, and because you have that little hole, you have a perfect little spot to put the point that's on the back of these. And so very carefully, I just take off the little um, claws that hold the stone in place. And then just a dab of hot glue and I place those. And then this one, I've added a little, uh, another little angel on here. She has a little acrylic piece for the bottom of her. Um, some beaded wings in the pinks to go along with the pink in the trim here. And the pearl bead head and a rondelle for her crown. And there is a bead cap in here too, for be sort of forms the top of her dress to her, onto um, her neck. And this little image is a little digital download. I've printed it onto fabric. I have also stickled up her wings. And I also gave her a little crown and also had another little stone that had a point on it and a way that you can easily make that work in your project so that it actually sinks in and doesn't sit up really high on your thing is take a large darning needle and poke that into, and I've backed this with felt, so poke that right through your fabric image and poke it through your felt and then you form a hole, especially if you pull it down towards the eye of the needle because you get a little bigger hole. And then you're able, with a little dot of glue, just able to press that little pointed stone right into the image. And so you get a nice finished look. And that's, that's another one that is finished. And this one is done on a small four, I think it's a four inch, <clears throat> it might be three. Just let me do a quick measure here. A three and a half inch embroidery hoop. And I got those on Amazon. And I p 
pinched into place one of the doilies from Kim's doily pack and then I used another doily I had in my stash um, a piece of it on the back and then cut the individual little crocheted pieces so that it formed part of the dangle and then I put one of my pink crocheted little doilies and then this is a trim that Kim had in the store I don't know whether it's, I don't think it's still available, but it may be one that she's trying to get back, and that was this one. And it's a very pretty trim as well, very versatile. And what I did was I just cut out the top flower piece there, and I used that. Oh, actually, no, on this one I didn't cut it out. I uh, just placed that there, and then the dangles came down and formed this part of the the dangle on the project and then I added two other ones on the edge little of the flowers and then added um, there is another layer of that trim that I showed that I made the angel out of I put a layer of that on there as well and then I've added in a couple of little pieces of the other trim I showed that I've been cutting individual little pieces I added that in here as well on the sides with a little bit of bling little bit of pearls and a little bit of bling on that so it gives it several layers and again this one sort of has a, a bit of a of a dream catcher type feel to it um, added the little pink hearts onto this one to bring up the pink from there the bow has got a hint of pink in it as well added some more of those little pieces at the top here and cascading down the side of the embroidery hoop to add a little bit more um, to the sides if you're looking at it from the sides if it was hanging on the wall you would you know see this and I added the pearls and the blue strands when I have my ring light on now I can really see the, the glue strands here and there so added some bling and some flat back pearls just to add a little bit more sparkle this uh, centerpiece in this flower is from my stash, but Kim does have some beautiful bling pieces in her store too for adding to your flower centers. And then again, another little beaded angel on this one. I added angels to each of them. Uh, there's, you know, a lot of people, there's a lot of significance of angels to them, um, not only at Christmas, but all year round. And so I thought if they hung these at Christmas time, they would be appropriate, but also if they wanted to hang them for throughout the year they would be nice the wings on this little angel are two of the petals off of um, the flower trim that I I showed in last month's design team package this is part of one of the flowers here you can see I've cut the two petals off this one and I will save that and use that I can make two more angels out of that um, wings and I added um, diamond stickles to the edge of this one to give it some sparkle This one I made uh, using a tube that I actually received um, a product in and it had end caps on it. I just took those off. I painted the tube a gold color and then I added two of the dangle pieces from this trim, which is quite a beautiful trim that Kim had in the store as well. I, I think it's sold out, but she may be trying to get it back in. It's quite a spectacular trim and I blinged it up. I added some little flat back rhinestones. These are about, um, I think they're like two millimeter. They're very tiny. I've added those all throughout here, bigger ones in the center of the flower part. Uh, some hand set little pearls along the sides of the tube. And then I added bling, both flat back pearls and flat pack. A, a B bling onto these beautiful drops for this and this ornament would hang on the tree like that so it would hang it hangs straight down and it, I think it's gonna look quite spectacular on a tree and this one's going to my dad and his wife for Christmas I finished the back with a ribbon with gold on the edge and a little Bit of a flat back pearl and this one I also have added an angel to the middle of this one and she's made with pearl like a drop bead 
and then her wings are part of a butterfly that I again use that tickles on it and then uh, added a little bit of bling and added a bit of an acrylic heart in here look like she's holding it so these that trim from Kim this is a, a beautiful dangle trim I'm sure that she probably will try and get something similar in the store and any really any long dangle like that would you could use to make this type of ornament and this tube is probably about an inch across it's not a big it's not a large tube so it's not like as big as a toilet roll or anything but you could construct one too out of some uh, cardstock to make a circular thing to add to this just has a different uh, shape to it and I thought it was cool to try something with a different shape and then this last one again is on the embroidery hoop it's another one of her doilies pinched into the embroidery hoop this one I have used the rose trim around the edge just the dangle parts at, put them at the top and then cascaded them down each side and then I have added a, a draw an angel in the center of this one this is an acrylic piece that I had in my stash again often uh, the butterfly wings the tops of the wings I use of the applique for the for the angels wings and add a bit of bling and this one she has a silver bead for her head and a rondelle again at the top there's a bit of a pearl trim from my stash along the back side of this one and then the drops are all Again, that trim that I showed you that I'm cutting individual pieces off. I've individually cut them and placed them to lie oops, underneath here. And then I've just added some pearls and bling randomly. There's a couple pieces of the leaf trim that I had left that I've also added in there. And um, this trim she had in her store. And I had a tiny little piece left of that too, and I used that to give some fullness to the dangles and then this is again one of those beautiful spectacular drop pieces from this trim and in this one I've added a bling to the center and then added bling straight down the middle of flat back ABs and pearls and then I went in and added I have some it's called winter wonderland I think glitter glue and I added that onto this and it stiffens it so it gives it a little bit uh, uh, stronger feel to it it's not not flimsy and it also gives it some sparkle so I like how that turned out too I just wanted to try something different and I and I like how that turned out as well so those are my beautiful little I don't know Christmas decorations or just beautiful little wall hangings that you could hang up and uh, using Kim a lot of trims and thing and laces from Kim's store so please go over and have a look in her Etsy store and see what new products she has put in and enjoy shopping and have a look at the other designers what they're creating with all her beautiful products and uh, that's all for me for today and wishing you all well and hope you're enjoying preparing for the Christmas season and we certainly are having fun preparing in our house uh, we have as some of you know we have a new baby on the way our son is and his wife are expecting and baby is due next week and so we are very excited and waiting on this um, we know it's a boy uh, they're keeping his name a secret at this time so I will certainly be letting you know once he has arrived and uh, what his name is and so that news should be coming before Christmas you take care everybody bye for now